in. It's Wednesday, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm going live a bit earlier than I usually do because I have some changes in my schedule today, including picking up my kids early from school. Um, and Taylor's joined the robotics team, so I'm looking at my schedule right here. Anyway, I'm going live a bit early. Usually I go live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. right before the school bus comes home. Um, but here I am. I am talking about in this very moment, you are safe. Um, I might get a bit worked up. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit emotional about this topic. Um, if you're here with me, give me a comment, um, a hi in the comments. I am Tanya Milano, parent coach, if you've never met me before. Um, I'm here to support you with self-regulation. I just put some oil on. It really helps me because I am feeling like I have a lot to talk about today. And this feeling of being unsafe is huge. So I use oils to support my emotions. Um, this one's called Joy. I love it. Whew. So if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to find me on Facebook. I have a group over there. I'll put it up on the screen. It's called Reactive to Relax, Self-Care Without the Guilt. You can find me on Facebook. That's where we go into a lot of self-care in taking care of our emotions, self-regulation, how to um, meet our children's needs. Because I am here to support you in raising resilient children. So. We're creating OM in the home by first starting with us. And as you're watching this, yes, you are safe. Hopefully you're not like driving, listening to me and, and getting in an accident, but in the very moment you are safe. However, there is a lot of stress going on right now, tons of it, and I get it. So it can be really hard for us to stay present with our own emotions, never mind trying to take care of a family on top of that. So, um, you know, there's winter, there's COVID pandemic, there's trying to take, you know, trying new self-care goals for 2022. Um, you might be having stress with work. You may be having stress with uh, a family change, okay? There are always stresses that are going to bombard us. If we can figure out how to feel safe in this very moment, I understand that there could be some physiological things going on, anxiety, panic attacks, um, you name it, that you may be dealing with. How do we work through living in this very moment with that level of stress? Okay, that's where I can support you. Um, I wanted to talk about my story a little bit today. Okay, so I'm going to go back four years ago when I was at my breaking point. Um, it actually was three years ago. Four years ago, my dad was on his deathbed right about now. Um, he had battled lung cancer for over um, about a year and a half. My mom had passed away six months before that. She passed away in July from colon cancer. Um, I was continuing to teach. I had a one-year-old and a five-year-old. Um, I wasn't taking care of myself in the ways that I needed. I wasn't seeing a therapist. I wasn't seeing a grief counselor. I wasn't really talking to anybody about the way I was feeling. Um, I was taking care of it myself, which is what I always did. I always took care of my own needs. Um, Growing up as an oldest child, if you resonate with being a parentified uh, child, let me know in the comments. This means you may have been giving advice to your parents. They may have been coming to you for advice. 
um, you were in charge of everything, um, your grades, your studying, um, getting yourself ready for school, making yourself breakfast even. If that sounds like you, and you don't remember really being taken care of, now, granted, my parents, they provided for me. Like, they they made the money. They My mom did the shopping. She cooked when she could. Um, but I filled in in order to be a peacekeeper in my family, take care of myself, my needs, take care of my parents' well-being so that they weren't stressed. Not, per, not causing more stress for them. That means I kept my emotions to myself. Um, I didn't bother them with things that were bothering me. Um, you know, you name it. I didn't go to my parents for the things that I needed. Now, as an adult, that means I have a hard time looking for support, even to my own husband. <laughs> so... I feel like nobody's there to take care of me. Does this sounds like you? Please let me know in the comments. You have a hard time reaching out for support because you've always been the one there for yourself. You know you can rely on yourself. So you just keep going. Okay? There's going to be a breaking point. And that's where the anxiety starts to come in. You need other people in your life. Um, you need the oxytocin, you need hugs, you need connection. So I wanted to talk about my book, Becoming the Big Me. I don't talk about it very often. There's a couple copies over there. This chapter talks about how I was at my breaking point with my parenting. I was an angry mom. I was taking, I was lashing out. No one was taking care of me, so I was lashing out. When, so there's a Maya Angelou quote that I absolutely love. Is anybody here with me? Let me see if there's any comments. No. Let me know if you're resonating with any of this. Maya Angelou says, when we know better, we do better. Okay. So, and and then there's there's another philosophy and positive discipline that I used with my teaching. When you feel better, you do better, right? So I was feeling horrible. I was taking it out on everybody. Um, my son was three at the time. He was hitting me. He was throwing things around the house. He was displaying the anger that I was not. Um, I was not dealing with. And so that's when I had to lean into my mindfulness and yoga practice. I know from the age of 18 that that's what I need to do. I need to get, get clear on feeling safe. I quit my job. I started journaling every day. I started listening to meditations every day. Um, I started tuning into my body, like not just on the yoga mat, like throughout the day because I was getting aggravated. I was getting triggered. I was using my breathing practice. I was sitting on the floor playing with my son. And in order to stay present with him, bringing my awareness to my body. So my sit bones, um, maybe doing some cat and cows with him, um, doing some animal movements, whether we were maybe we were playing Legos or something like really bring my awareness back to physical touch because I was so far into my mind that I was no longer present in my body. So if you are sick and tired of your own BS, like you've wanted to change, you wanted to work on mindfulness, you've wanted to work past your anxiety you're still not, fig you haven't figured out like what it is that you can do to take care of yourself. This is where um, 
uh, why I made Reclaim Your Body, Transform Your Mind. This is my signature coaching program. There's a self-guided option. And I go through group coaching a few times a year. So we are coming up on a group coaching time. Reclaim your body, transform your mind. We go from uh to oh, like, uh, why am I still doing all these things? Uh, why can't I take care of myself? Uh, why am I getting so anxious all the time? We're going from that to home. It's a four-week coaching process. We start next week, and the, the coaching will be recorded, so if you can't make the time, you can watch the recording, but there are four weeks of guided coursework. Week one, breathing and mindfulness activities. Week two, self-love and forgiveness activities. Week three, sleep and relaxation exercises. And week four, purpose and creativity. If this sounds like you need it right now in your life, you can go through it all self-guided. And I will be there for group coaching in the next four weeks. So now is the time to get in. That's why I have a flash sale. You need to put in the word peace into the coupon code. The link is in the description of the video or go to tanyamilano.com, find Reclaim Your Body, Transform Your Mind, type in peace. You get it half off the self-guided portion. You can jump in for group coaching. It is only $97. Now, I am going to be raising the price of this. So if you want to be in this program and be access to the group coaching throughout the year, you need to get in now because this is it's never going to be lower than $97. I'm not going to do this sale again because $97 is really just giving it away. So come in and, and coach with me. Um, we will work on the mindfulness. We will get you back on track for 2022. Oh, and one more thing. I have a workshop on Friday with my friend Stephanie. There's a flash sale on that too. Um, I will put the, well, I'll, I didn't put the link in the description, but go to stephaniemello.com or message me for the link. Friday, we are having a workshop to envision 2022. So if you don't even know what your goals are this year, you want to get away from the same old BS that you've been living in for these last couple of years, and you want to start moving forward, come to our workshop. We're going to do some on the spot vision boarding stuff together. And we're also going to do some embodiment work with that because it's, it's not enough to just write down your goals. This is about really envisioning them. Like they're going to come to life in this workshop. So that's Stephanie with one F mellow with one L.com register on there flash put in flash sale or just message me and i'll i'll get you the information um, flash sale gets you the flash sale price um so we're so excited about that anyway i want you all to feel safe no matter what that is my goal so that we can raise kids that feel safe i do not i want to put an end to this generational stress response this anxiety and panic that a lot of us are feeling. So I hope that you'll join me in one of these things and have a wonderful day, everybody.